Hey guys, what is up? It is Operator X here, and welcome to Bejeweled 3. Oh my god. So, uh, Bejeweled 3 is my favorite game ever for the mobile devices. Uh, finally got it on my computer. Um, beep, 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 beep. I had it once, but that was uh, the trial version, so I decided to uh, <coughs> buy, <coughs> buy it. Not really. I decided to buy it, and uh, so now I have Bejeweled 3, so we're going to play it. Um, all my stats got reset, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because now I can record it from the beginning. So, uh, we're going to play this regularly. So, there is, of course, all this stuff. We're going to start off with Quest, though, because Quest is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make this series based off the Quest of this. And, uh, yeah, so, I already know how to do all this and stuff like that. I've played Bejeweled for a long time, so we're going to do Quest. Um, okay, so starting off, uh, bu -bu 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 complete the Quest to restore the Lost Relics of Bejeweled. So, there are, I think, five relics, and this is number one. So, we have Butterflies, Gold Rush, Alchemy, uh, Stratamax, Balance, Avalanche, Buried Treasure, and Time Bomb. So, we're going to start off with Butterflies. Match 15 Butterflies before any of them reach the spider. So, it, uh, the concept of this game is quite simple. Uh, you match gems up with different pairs to collect the greatest amount of score possible. Uh, this game mode, though, is called Butterflies, and uh, it's going to run me through all this stuff again. Like, oh yeah, you got a star gem. And uh, I'll just I'll just do this. I'll commentate over all this because I know I've been playing this for a long time. Fire gem right there. Um, flame gem doesn't matter. Same thing. So yeah. Uh, basically, the gist of got a hypercube there. The gist of um like oh my god. <laughs> Friggin' mom. Ooh. So the gist of butterflies. Not really butterflies. I don't even know what I was saying. Um, of butterflies is basically, uh, you have to match up the butterflies with, um, the corresponding butterfly color before it reaches up the spider, so, it's really simple, like a very easy game type, I only have to do 15, I'm already at 5, it's not hard at all, um, but yeah, so, this game mode is, uh, not even this game mode, this game is just a barrel of monkeys, I love it, I love this game so much, um, I remember on the mobile devices, if you... If you have ever played it or owned it for the mobile device, you would know that um, there's a bunch of badges you can get. Um, well, me and my friends got every single badge for that game. The, every single um, platinum badge for that game, except for one elite badge, and that's it. And um, on the iPad, of course. Um, but yeah, so the we got them together, so it was really easy. But yeah, so uh, I apologize for the excess noise, by the way. I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this though, um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of chill my way through this. I don't even know. There we go. <sighs> that was a that was a lot of talking, but uh, but yeah, so uh, got that, and uh, I'm glad I have this finally, um, because I'm meaning to give a video out to this. I've just kind of been putting it off because I got this like, I don't know, maybe a week ago. I got the game a week ago, but I've just kind of been putting off opening it and uninstalling it. Um. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, a uh, it's, this game is so much fun. So you've already completed the quest. I matched up 15 butterflies. This relic goes over here in the thing. So, uh, yeah, and we're going on to the next one. Gold rush. Max gems near dirt to dig. Mine five gold nuggets. So that's all I have to do, really. All you have to do is just mine up these things, um, by matching up. Get two minutes, do that. It's very simple. This process is elongated and takes, like, no effort whatsoever like this um it's weird because the way i see it is different from the way that everybody else sees it so when i play everybody's like oh no why didn't you match this gym or you had a match right here and you didn't get it it's just because my perspective is like different from everybody else's because i look at it a different way than everybody else looks at it and i'm yeah and uh yeah, it's just, it's just different for everyone, so you should not go off of my videos going like, oh, you had you had a match here and you didn't get it. It's like, I don't really care because I wasn't either A, paying attention, or B, under pressure, or something like that, just like I am now. I have no idea right there. Okay. Oh. Alright. Got that. My time is running out. I may not complete this quest the first time through, which is re... weird? Which is weird because uh, I usually complete like these uh, beginner quests relatively easy, but I'm not doing so. Rel, rel, I cannot talk today. I apologize. <sighs> okay, never mind. I already got it. So uh, quest completed. 
that's the number dose. We're gonna move on to alchemy. Turn the grid to gold before time runs out. This one was a little challenging. Basically, you match up gems and stuff, and uh, whenever you match up something, it'll go to the row that you uh, matched it up with. So, like that. Um, let's do that. I don't think that's gonna do anything really. No. But, uh, yeah, the more you match up, the, uh, like, you have to turn the whole grid into gold by matching up gems. And so it's relatively easy. It's just hard. It's kind of hard sometimes because um, it's that gem that you need to put, but it's not there. And it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating sometimes. Yeah, that's pretty outrageous. Um, so, doo -doo -doo, there we go. And quest complete, just like that. So it's not difficult, as I said. Um, one more, and I should have the next relic unlocked, but I'm going to go for all of these. Um, I'm going to go for all of these quests in this episode. So this one, I hate this game mode so much, Stratamax. I basically have to clear 120 gems and 20 moves or less. Um, so yeah, I have to eliminate 120 gems in 20 moves, so that would make 4 in that one move. So the key is to make a bunch of different like special matches, like flame matches and uh, and uh, stellar and hypercube and stuff like that. So um, the key is to get more than a 30 of match, but right now it doesn't look like I have any. As I can see, um, so I'm gonna match up one of those, and if you get lucky, you can uh, you can cascade a combo, which is not happening right now. Um, where should I move? There we go. There we go. That's nice. Yes, that's a flame. Yay! This is that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Come on, yellow. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Oh, hypercube. Orange. And complete. So I completed that quest. Uh so all these I've done so far. Oh, got a badge, bronze blaster badge. Because I destroyed 30 gems. See, look how many badges there are on this one. There's probably more than this page as well. But, uh, but yeah. All the elite badges and stuff like that. There's probably more than that. So, uh, alright. Now we're gonna do this one. I hate this game mode even more than Stratamax. So this one's all like, whoa, you got that! So, I've unlocked Diamond Mine. Uh, so, when, there are five relics. But I'm gonna keep going, so we're playing Balance. Basically, uh, you balance 15 red and 15 blue. Or that's the goal. And you have to keep them even. So if one tips over, then that means that you can't, like... So the, the mission of this is to keep it balanced out. So, um, yeah, that's, that's like, the only real way to do it. You have to have matches ready, because if you don't, then um, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And, um, yeah, so the key goal is to just have a match ready. Like, that's not what I meant to do. So there's six, and I'm running out of time. I need a red match. Or I need a blue match, actually. I'm not helping myself. I'm probably gonna lose this one. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. Maybe. No, I'm not! Yeah, I got it! Quest complete! Yay! <laughs> yes, that was unplanned. This one's easy. This one's really easy. Avalanche is just super simple. All you have to do is just keep matching up before the board fills up. Um... Yeah, it's not hard. It just, I mean, all, all you have to do really is just concentrate on one spot. Or that, at least that's what I do and it works fine. Like, I'm not trying to do a whole bunch of stuff at one time. However, this early on in the whole game, it doesn't really matter. Because it's really easy. But you're going to want to try to get matches that go downwards like that. See, sideways matches don't really help you out. Hmm. Wow, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay. Now the help. I have a few more moves to go. Oh, that'll help. And let's end the game out with that. Alrighty. Quest complete. So now we're doing this one. I dislike this one as well. Okay, so this one, basically you just have to match up and find treasure in the ground by matching up because there's sand covering the board. Um. Yeah, it's easy for now, but it gets really difficult later on because um, their time limit is shorter and uh, sand starts covering up your stuff again. So uh, just kind of, I don't know, 
sucks a little bit. So I'm gonna try to not suck at this time. There we go. Okay, that's I got one. I don't know what that is. I think it's a armor thing. There's two. It's a shield. And the last one should be a sword right here. But uh, I don't appear to be getting it. And this is the most frustrating thing of all, is when there's a whole bunch of matches, but they aren't where you want them to be, so you have to keep matching up and waiting for your little chance opportunity to go. Which doesn't seem to be happening. There we go. There we go. That's a weird looking sword. So, quest complete. I've only got one more, and this is Time Bomb. Extremely easy. Um, all you have to do is just match up the bomb with the color gem and wait for it to go. So we got a stellar there, there's one bomb gone. I only have ten more to go, or I only need nine more really, but I only need nine more. Um, it gets a little div a little more difficult later on because uh, the bombs like don't time moves, they time like time. So um, you get 60 seconds instead of like 20 moves. So 20 moves is a whole lot considering like I did a whole mission based off 20 moves. So yeah, I apologize for the lag right now. I'm gonna try to fix that later on. What? No. Oh. Ooh. Two bombs. That are no longer near each other. I'm not helping myself right now. Oh, come on! Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> What's with all the green bombs? Uh oh. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to. That did not. I need to get rid of this thing. Really bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on! I'm not gonna make it. No, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Damn it. And I thought I would have been able to do this in one turn as well. That really does suck. Alright. Game over. That sucks. Last one, too. I'll try it again. One more time. We'll have better luck. Like I said, this game is really, truly unfair. Like, in a lot of ways, it's unfair. Right now, I can already tell right now, something's going to happen, and I'm not going to be able to finish it. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Never mind. All is well. I need a white. I need a pearl. Or that. Purple. Boop. Red. It's all just a game of luck, really. When you look at it, I guess. Oh my god. How did the bomb not blow up from that? That's stupid. There we go. And game over. Quest complete. Alright, so uh, that's the end of this video, guys. So uh, comment or subscribe. Do whatever makes you happy. And uh, it's been Operator X. I will see you guys later with episode 2, The Book.